Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I was going to do a short video on a quick review on the ASS VAB math portion or mathematical knowledge. I'd have a piece of paper out in front of you and a pencil, do the problems before I do them, and then uh, watch how I do them. This is just a free online test I found online. I'll put a link to it in the description as well. And this isn't to teach you the math, it's just a quick review to get an idea of some of the problems on the military placement exam, the ASVAB. Question number one right here is just a check on your mathematical knowledge of exponents. If the bases are the same and you're multiplying them together like this, then you add the exponents. So 6 plus 5 is 11, so the correct answer is C. Um, because the bases are the same and the rule of exponents is you add. If I were to divide the exponents like this, I would subtract to get x to the first, 6 minus 5. If I were to do x to the sixth to the quantity to the fifth, I would multiply that to get 30. Or if I just multiply them like this problem, I would add them together to get x to the 11th. There's your answer right there. Next problem is solve for x. This is just a check of algebraic understanding. The first thing you have to do is distribute this through the quantity, 3 through the quantity there, and 5 through the quantity there. So 3 times x plus 3 times 1 is equal to 5 times x, 5 times negative 2 plus 7. I need to combine similar terms. Here's a 3x and a 5x. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. And then I'm still going to combine these. Negative 10 and 7 is negative 3. So I have 2x minus 3 over here. And I have this 3 over there. Add 3 to both sides. Now I have 2x is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2. And I get a value for x. 6 divided by 2, a value for x of 3. There's my answer right there. Number 3 right here is also algebra. This is checking your ability to substitute. We know that a is equal to 1. Take that value and plug it in there for a. b is equal to 2. Take that value and plug it in there, and then solve for y. So I have y is equal to 3 times a times b plus 2 times b to the third, and b is 2. Important thing to remember here is order of operations. You always do exponents first before multiplication, and then multiplication before addition. So I have y is equal to 3 times 1 times 2, 6, plus 2 times 2 to the third, 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 8. So 2 to the third is 8, and then I still have that 2. So y is equal to 6 plus 16. All of my uh, exponents are done. My multiplication is done. Now I do the addition. So y is equal to 6 plus 16, or 22. My answer right there. Problem number four, a rectangle is cut in half to create two squares that are each have an area of 25. So it's going to look like this. Here's my rectangle of square 25. Because it's 25, that means this is 5 and 5 to give me an area of 25, and this one's 5 and 5 to give me the area of 25. So I got to know area here. I got to be able to kind of spatially put it together, and then I also need to know perimeter. That's the distance around the outside. So I have 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5, or 30. And there's my correct answer there. OK, problem number 5. 44 is 80 percent of what number? So I have a number. I take 80% of that number and I end with 44. So what I need to do here is I need to take that 44 and divide it by 0.8. So 0.8 goes into 44. Doesn't look like a 4. It goes into 44. Divide here. I move the decimal over 1. I move it over here 1. 8 goes into 44 five times to give me 40. 4 minus 0, bring down the 0. 8 goes into 45 times. So the answer is 55. 55 times that 80% gives me 44. Number 6, this is an expression, not an equation. There is no equal sign, so I just have to simplify it. Again, I need to know order of operations. Parentheses first, 
then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, left to right. So I got to do this first. That's really the check, my parentheses. So I have 26 minus 7, 3 plus 5 is 8, divided by 4 plus 2. So now I go left to right, multiplication and division first. So I have 26 minus 7 times 8 minus 56 divided by 4 plus 2. I then do the division. 56 divided by 4 is 28. And then 28 cut in half is 14. So I have 26 minus 14 plus 2. 26 minus 14 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. There's my correct answer right there. Problem number seven right here. We have four different numbers, and you're asked to find which number is greatest. But we have fractions and decimals, so to compare numbers, they should all be the same. So let's go to decimals with all of them. Two divided by three is 0.666 or 0 0.67. 0 0.6 is less than that, so we can cross that one out. Not too sure where that one is. Um, we're going to have to multiply that one out. 0.08 is a really small number. So this is the largest one so far. We've got to compare it to that one. So we're going to go 22 in a 13. It doesn't go in a 13, so we're going to add a 0 on there. 22 in a 130 is 5. 6 would be 120, 132. So it would have to be a 5. And I don't have to go any further than that because 0.67 is larger than that. So 0.67 is our 2 thirds, and A is our correct answer. OK, problem number eight in the figure below, lines D and F are parallel, and they're cut by this transversal, and you're given those angles, you're trying to find the measure of angle X. It's kind of a hard problem. Probably just starting to write in whatever you could figure out. So if that's 35 degrees, this is 35 degrees vertical angles. If this is 120, this is its supplement at 60. Now that I have that, I could actually see a triangle right here. And I have two angles in a triangle. So I need to find the third angle in a triangle. All three angles add up to 180. So if I do 180 minus the 35 minus the 60 degrees, um, 180 minus 95 will leave me with 85. And the correct answer is 85 degrees for that angle there. Number nine is kind of intimidating, and it looks like a lot of things, but it's really just simplifying and combining similar terms. The one tricky part on this is to distribute that negative through the whole quantity. So I have that 7y squared plus 3xy minus 9 minus 2y squared minus 3xy minus minus or plus 5. I can only combine similar terms. So I have 7y squared and negative 2y squared, which will give me 5y squared. Then I have 3xy minus 3xy. Those will cancel each other out. Minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4. I can't um, simplify any further than that. And it's going to be answer A. Problem 10 right here is scientific notation. I have 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative fourth. That means that decimal place is going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's a decimal place. And I'm going to fill this in with zeros. And I could see I have 0. 0.00066, so three zeros. So it's answer B right here. It's problem 11, what is the value of this square root? I'm going to do the exponents before I do the square root. So I have a square root, a 6 squared is 6 times 6, 36. 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64. 36 and 64 is 100. So I have a square root of 100. What times itself will equal 100? And the correct answer is C, 10. OK, question number 12. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. Uh, if you have any questions on any of these problems, please post them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can on your questions. Um, list uh, A consists of these numbers, and list B consists of these numbers. If the two lists are combined, what is the median of the combined list? So the median is the middle number, the mean, the average, and the mode the most frequent. So I'm going to put all these numbers in numeric order. 
from least to greatest, and then I'm going to find the middle number. So the lowest number is 1, then a 2, and then a 4, then a 5, then a 6, 7. What else we have? 9, 12, 13, 9, 12, 13, 15, and 18. So there are the two lists combined. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers total. So, so it's the average of these two, right? So these two right here are the middle two. Four numbers below, four numbers above. So the two middle numbers, because it's an even number of numbers, there are two middle numbers, and I average those two out. So the median number is going to be 8. So you got to put them all in numeric order first, find the middle. If there's an odd number of numbers, there will only be one. If there's an even, there will be two. And because there are two, I average those two middle numbers. Number 13, the reason this is a mathematical knowledge, you just need to know what that exclamation point is. That doesn't mean 6 with emphasis. It means 6 times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. I think it's called a factorial. Whatever the number is, you multiply one less all the way down. So 6 times 5 is 30. 30 times 4 is 120. 120 times 3 is 360. 360 times 2 is 720. And there's my correct answer, answer B. Problem 14 right here, negative 3 to the third. That's negative 3 times negative 3, which is equal to 9, times negative 3. So it's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. It's going to give me a, a negative number because it's an odd. So negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Answer D right here. Problem number 15, if 6w plus 4 equals 8w, then 4w equals. So if I have 6w plus 4 equals 8w, I solve for w first by subtracting 6w from both sides. That's going to give me that 4 by itself. 8w minus 6w is 2w. Divide both sides by 2. Those will cancel, and w is equal to 2. I'm not done. i got to take that value for 2 and plug it back in to find 4w. So my correct answer is 8 right here. Automatic distractor, but that's the wrong answer. you got to plug it back in. Okay, before I do problem number 16 here, this is a free test I found online. It's asvabpracticetest.com, uh, math knowledge. Uh, you could just go to that test and then work your way through it. Again, I'd have a piece of paper and a pencil out. I'd do the problems before I do them and then watch how I do them. This isn't really to teach you the math. It's just to review a lot of those ideas and get it fresh in your head. Uh, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. All right, number 16, I have 4y times quantity 3x plus 2 minus 2 times 3x plus 2, and I'm asked to factor. This is not an equation. There's no equality sign. It's an expression. But I notice there's this common term in both of them, so I pull that term out, 3x plus 2. And once I pull that common term out, in this term, I'm left with a 4y, and right here, I'm left with a negative 2. So it's the same thing as 3x plus 2 times the quantity 4y minus 2, and there's a correct answer right there, answer A. Okay, thank you for watching, and good luck on your exam.